Hello gamers and welcome to another talking video. You must be thrilled now that I am going to talk a little bit more again. But after last video and talking about formations there, I decided I need to dedicate one whole video about formations, about phalanx and wedges and what formation to use. So let's dive into this matter. It's not that difficult as it may seem. There is phalanxes and wedges and a lot of you guys there doesn't know which formation to use to go with the phalanx or to go with the wedge. So hopefully I will be able to explain it all. And let's not complicate things and make this as easier as possible. If you are a rally trap and there is single rally going on you, you are always going to swap your formation so you counter. After the counters update doesn't matter if you are T4 frontline, you always need to counter that single rally. If there is more rallies on you, in that case, you are going to use wedge. And in a bit, I will explain it why. The best example to use here is if you are a reinforcement rally trap. In that case, you are around 700k each T4, maybe 800k each T4, and you are taking 1 million range of your frontline. Let's say you are range reinforcement rally trap. In that case, as I mentioned for this video, let's calculate you have 800k T4 range. If you are not about to take reinforcement and there is a rally on you, they said cavalry rally, so you're already countering them. And you might think, okay, I am good, I'm countering the cavalry, but rally leads usually will send cavalry rally in rage phalanx or infantry wedge. They will just put the cavalry behind, put some buffers in, and smack you with one of those two, two formations. In which case, you are going to be perfectly good. You are gonna fully counter them. And by saying fully, I mean that they cavalry will need to fight your full range, all of 800k. But if the rally lead know what he is doing, he's going to send his cavalry rally in range wedge. Let's take a look on the image. Range phalanx versus range wedge. In range wedge, you can see the positioning of cavalry troops. There is two squads to the left and two squads to the right. Or in this image, up and down. Each of those images you see on battlefield, so both are squads of the range troops, shields are squads of the infantry troops, and horse heads, of course, squads of the cavalry troops. If you have 800k T4 range, meaning every this icon is one squad, will have 200k range in there. My cavalry, if I am going to use wedge, they will fight one squad each, meaning my troop need to kill only half of your front line. In this case, only 400k range. After they kill 400k range, they fully gonna hit your infantry. And fully, I mean they are gonna hit your infantry until your infantry dies. So right there, you are fully countered. Even you may think that you actually countered the rally. This is where is the difference between phalanx and wedge. So to make sure the lesson is learned and to make it as simple as possible, if you are low on your front line and you are defending a single rally, always use wedge. If you are infantry front line, use infantry wedge. If you are range front line, use range wedge. If you are cavalry front line, well, God help you. <laughs> but okay, you understand the point. By using wedge, you enable your opponent to use this trick by going only through half of your front line and then smacking and countering you in your second line. And I can show you difference in damage done here on reports, on all the reports from a darkness. Unfortunately, these battle reports, I think they expired. Yeah, they expired. But doesn't matter. Let's take a look. This is two exactly the same rallies on exactly the same target. Only difference is formation here. So here you can see this is a cavalry rally in range phalanx hitting this darkness in range phalanx as well. And I am doing only 687 damage to range front and I am unable to win. I lost this one. 
And when you compare the exactly same heat, again, cavalry rally in a range wedge this time. And yes, meaning I battle only half of the enemy range troops in the darkness. Check the difference in damage done. Basically, after I am done with half of enemy range, I smacked straight into that infantry, dealing massive amount of damage and managing to win this fight. Same applies when you are fighting the enemy castles. If you use wedge and the enemy is staying in phalanx, it is low on his front line. You are going through half front line and then smacking the second line, but this is easily prevented if enemy use wedge as well. And let's take a look on practical exam here. If you didn't watch the whole video, you can check it right now in top right corner. There is the link to whole video. Here I was locked down with one rally from LGM while they set the second one. And the moment I teleport, I got vulnerable. And this is the perfect moment to use wedge for your formation. Here you can see the range rally is coming. And here we just need to disregard the thing that I swapped to cavalry phalanx. That was a huge mistake. But let's take a look what would happen if I stayed in infantry phalanx. He ran this range rally in infantry wedge, which is the proper way to go against infantry reinforcement rally trap. Of course, he is max Titan account. If this rally hit a free to play player or medium pay to pay player, the damage would be devastating. I imagine that free to play would lose even the second line of his troops. But let's now imagine I did take this rally in infantry phalanx versus infantry wedge, what would happen? As you noticed, I had 1.3 million T4 infantry. That meaning each squad here will have 325k infantry. And since he is going infantry wedge, his range, which are on the sides, are going only to hit one squad on each side, meaning in total hitting two infantry squads. In numbers, that's that their whole range really need to fight 650k infantry. After those 650k infantry is killed, the rest of the infantry is on vacation and their range going straight into my cavalry doing massacre there while my infantry is drinking cocktails on some sunny beach and simply doesn't care to involve in this fight. Yeah, I think this is nicely explained and also you can nicely prevent this from going into infantry wedge. When you are in wedge, by doing this trick, they simply cannot avoid, let's say, the whole front line. Since you can see here on the image that wedge positioning of the troops is two squads of the front line, two squads of the second line, then again two squads of the front line and again two squads of the second line. Meaning at one point that range really simply need to go through the whole 1.3 million infantry troops with some of your range troops from your two squads in the front line here as you can see. It's very simply an easy counter if you are running low on your front line. So gamers, to summarize it all, if you are trap, doesn't matter, rally trap, solo trap, reinforcement trap, simply if you are running low on your front line, you need to use wedge to defend yourself because if enemy rally lead is knowing what he is doing, he is going to use this trick and fight only 50% of your front line, then going straight to counter you on your second line. It's easily avoided, just use wedges and phalanxes use if your troop composition is intact and you are countering single rallies. So for one rally, it's always better to use phalanx with intact comp. One more important thing which I should mention is your wall. If you are rally party trap, simply use on your wall as much heroes of your front line as you can. Don't use that mix setup as you can see here go for the army heroes and one type heroes to strengthen as max as possible your frontline. If you are free to play, go for evil weevil and Aquarius. 
So that would be all from me. I hope you enjoy this formations video and I honestly hope you did get something from it. KVK is behind the doors. I wish you good luck at the KVK and now go out there and grab some kills.